TIFU by covering a disabled elderly lady with air freshener for three months straight. Well, the title says it all. It's a short one but I was absolutely mortified. I work as a carer for disabled and elderly people. It's a lovely job. But hard work and equal parts upsetting and rewarding. One of the elderly ladies I care for, her name is Madge. She's bedbound. So we do everything for her from change a pad. Give her a bed bath. Feed her. Brush her hair etc. She's also absolutely lovely but has no clue what's going on half the time. I have had this job since the end of November. Madge has various bottles of perfumes on top of a set of drawers by her bed. And once we've finished her bed bath and getting her dressed, I've been picking up one perfume in particular as it smells absolutely amazing and spraying her all over with it. Not one of my colleagues has ever said a thing. Until today. I picked up my favorite spray for Madge. Spritz her all over. And begin to tidy up. My colleague today, who I don't work with all that often, spoke up with some damning words. You do know that's air freshener. Don't you mate? Quote. No Lisa. No I did not. I have been spraying dear old Madge with room spray since November 2020. And only now has it been highlighted. The only perk I can take away from this is that Marks and Spencer's Nectarine and Amp. Orange Room Spray is both long-lasting and absolutely worth the money. TL. Dear covered disabled old lady with room spray which smells delicious. Room spray which definitely looks like body spray. Edit. I have of course changed the first names of those involved looks just like body spray minus the room spray script lol at least she smells good that's a clear win i've been using this victoria's secret body mist on myself for years i only recently realized it is hair mist haha -ha. happens woman shrugging medium light skin tone from a chemical standpoint they are not that different as long as you're just spritzing it on her outer layer of clothing and not getting it on her skin or spraying it excessively where she'd be inhaling a lot of it if it makes her happy and she's old then go nuts it's your favorite scent i don't argue 10 billion percent better than anything axe I mean, it can be worse. Plus, you didn't even know at the beginning if it was an air freshener anyway. That bottle definitely looks like perfume. Probably inexpensive perfume, but perfume all the same. At least this wasn't like the Gorilla Glue fiasco. I sure she was still able to move after three months. Fellow carer here. You're not alone. I did the exact same thing for a bedbound resident in the home I work in. Very easy mistake to make and thankfully one of the least worrisome ones. Oops. Don't feel too bad. Caring for the elderly is hard work. I used to take care of my mother-in-law with dementia. Caregivers came in three days a week to give her a bath. And I would give her a sponge bath the other four days. Well, a relative suggested I use dry shampoo. Which I did. However, I had never used dry shampoo. And I would give her a run with the hair dryer to poof up her hair. One day, I read the can and it said it was flammable and not to use a hair dryer. Thankfully, I never set her hair on fire. But now I always read directions. Thanks for all you do. We eventually moved my mill to a nursing home and we deeply appreciated the hard work of the staff. This is a very weird ad for M&S. When I was an impoverished student, I used to work part-time in old folks' homes doing basic personal care stuff for those who couldn't. I washed some poor old guy's remaining hair with chlorhexidine hand sanitizer until someone showed me where the actual shampoo was. 
at least it's M and S. Certainly better than Lynx Africa. From someone that works at an M and S. It's an easy mistake to make, especially since we have a 3 inches one room. Linen and body spray collection in the same style of bottle. Tip though. If it's in the style of bottle pictured it's not going to be solely a perfume. Rather it could be room spray. Linen spray or room. Linen and body spray. If you google it, using room sprays as perfume, body spray is a thing. So if it didn't cause the skin reaction. No harm. I wouldn't think. OMFG hilarious. Also I read this to myself in a British accent. Oops. But I think it's lovely that you care enough to spray her with something nice smelling. Well, I think that's sweet. Pretty little lady just appreciates your attention to her. I thought I had a pineapple body spray from Bath & Body Works. It was hand sanitizer actually. I sprayed it all over myself for like a week before I actually read the bottle. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.